What is up guys, it is Servo here and welcome to the FIFA 13 Career Mode Season 2 and we are currently in episode 26 and um, well we have two very nice games for you today as you can see we have Everton away to start the season and we also have Fulham home to, uh, to also start the season, there is no change, it's the start of the season episode guys, we play our first two league games, as you can see next episode we have Stoke as well as Deadline Day, but that's next time. But now let's get on to the Everton gameplay. We are away, and there is the team that we're putting out. So Dell starting up front on his debut with uh, Jack Cork and Schneider Lynn picking up the defensive uh, mid rolls. And uh, there is the little thing that says Roy Patricio also earns his debut. He is going to be a good keeper for us in the coming season. I can just feel it. But we start off with the first chance here. Lana doing some good work, giving it to Elshar at the edge of the box. And Elshar going for a shot. Really should be testing the keeper there. Uh, and in the end, it was just inches wide. But, uh, but, uh, you know, that gave us a little bit of incentive to attack a little bit more, but uh, pretty much from the kickoff or from the goal kick, Naismith went through here and, and just finessed it easily, easily past the keeper. And in the end, I just re re uh, fast forward the celebration a bit so you guys don't have to watch it. And that gives Everton the 1 0 lead. And that's when pretty much their first chance of the match. And it didn't take us long to equalise, did it? And what a smash that is by Adam Lallana. Could he possibly have got any more power on that? I do not know. But a 27th minute goal after they scored in the 24th. An assist for Sordell. As always, our main striker getting the assists. And that made it 1-1. And, uh, you know, from there on, we just had a little bit more incentive to attack, really. We know that we could have done level, done Everton a lot, lot, lot of damage in the early few stages. And we actually did there. Stefan El Shirari. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing his name right. I will call him El Shah. <laughs> Elshar going for it on goal, finessing it under the under the keeper's arms. I want to say how it is in goal, but I'm not too sure. And uh, it turns out that we were suddenly 2-1 up after Everton had taken an early lead. And it didn't take us long to start having to defend again. Everton putting us under a little bit of pressure there. But we managed to keep the first half uh, in our favour. Winning one, uh, win, win by one goal, 2-1 to the score. And then look at this, Elshar finding the ball to Marvin Sordell, as the defender was pulled out, and Sordell, look at this, look at this, Marvin Sordell going through, smashing it straight at the keeper, unfortunately, he really could have scored then, and Alana going for the overhead kick fail, which was eventually cleared out by the defenders, and uh, another chance wasted, I'm afraid, I don't want to do that too much this season, I don't want to waste many chances, but a nice little bit of footwork here, led to Suso, eventually trying to give Alana the ball, but it didn't work out too well, and uh, Sordell here with a lovely turn on the energy box, and then he smacked in the hardest of chances, at the near post, if you guys don't know yet, the near post shot is overpowered as fuck. I scored so many times in Ultimate Team, and again, I've done it here in career mode. Marvin Sordell with the smash to the near post, making it 3-1, really putting the game in our hands. And then I made my typical substitutions, you know, bringing on Henri Derrida as an attacking option, and Beckham to seal up that centre defensive mid partnership. And, uh, you know, really, really, really keep things tight in there so we don't concede any more goals. We actually, actually do. Look at this. Running down the wing, and the, eventually the header comes in from Wheatens, I think that was. And uh, that goes out. Everton make a sub here, I believe. But uh, it's not really much influence, because look at this. We give it short. I don't know what I was doing with Felipe Santana. I tried to do a little bit of skill there or whatever, and then it, the ball eventually ended up in Osman, who just finished it past Rui Patricio. So in that respect, Rui Patricio and Felipe Santana didn't really have a good partnership there. That will improve throughout the season, I am certain of it. Do not worry. The score was 3-2 to us. So we had a, uh, we were in for a tricky five minutes, but we did have one last attack with Henri here. We just didn't have the pace or the strength to keep that ball by his feet. And in the end, although Everton put us under some really heavy pressure by passing it around their back two and the keeper, the final score was 3-2 to us. So a nice, nice result to get things off to a, a good start uh, with the first match of the season gone. And uh, now time for some transfers. Look at this. We've decided that the uh, they're going to reject the 3.5 million offer for Lloyd... Quackwa, I made in the last episode, so I make a four million offer just in case. Apparently, Beckham form is worrying me. I don't really care too much. And look at this: Atanasov was approached by Bolivia for the job, and obviously I rejected. I don't know. I cannot name a single player from Bolivia. I accept this Harrison Reed offer here. Um, he's a 56 so overall. I don't need him. And then I, uh, after Juventus once again declined, I think it's Juventus, Milan even once again declined. I go in for another offer for that Lloyd Quackwa guy because he looks like a very nice player. There, here is the guy that I cannot flog off. This time to Morecam, and uh, I just cannot flog him off. I cannot do it. And again, they were, they're going to reject the bid because they're unsure if they want to allow the player to sell at the end of the loan spell. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to offer him the loan spell. I, I, I'm just going to do it. And they have accepted it straight away. So we're paying nine grand a week for him, and he is already valued at 5.5 .5 overall. He is going to be a good player. 
And uh, we move into the next match against Fulham. I don't show you the team lineups because I go straight into this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Quick dribbling. No, I've obviously sped this up. But uh, I do get I do get the goal challenge, I believe. And a really terrible shot there. But I do pass the goal challenge just to show you there. Um, I play Sergei... Uh, I can't remember his name. I do apologise. I play my new right back in this game. He gets a debut. Um, and as well, up front, I have Marvin Sordell and Suso. Suso starts his first match of the season. So uh, it's going to be a good, good, good match against Fulham after last uh, last performance against Everton. Um, we should be doing well. Suso there with that chance, never really ever going to go in. He went for the chip to the far post and Sordell here again going for the smash to the near post. Didn't pull out too well. Hangerland eventually managed to pull, eventually managed to clear the ball and nothing came from the attack. However, Elshar again trying to find Lalana. Him and Lalana linking up well as they have done all through last season. Unfortunately, the ball didn't quite work there. And then this is the one chance they had. Karen Fry tackled in the box well by Felipe Santana. We managed to clear the ball out. Uh, and eventually ended up in El Shirari, who just had to chip that over the keeper or do something. Beckham got to the rebound header, but the keeper got up and got back quickly. Well done to stop Gale there to, uh, to to save it. But then look at this ball from my right back to Sordell. Unleashing the path, the path, the pace and fury of Marvin Sordell. Unfortunately, he couldn't do anything, but a really, really nice ball by my new right back here. Parshiv Luke. I'm just going to call him Parsh from now on because I'm not going to pronounce that name every time. So uh, he had, in, in this respect, he had a really good inspirational debut going forward a couple of times, gave him a nice pass there. And uh, Klein does really well to catch Ruiz up there. And uh, Rui Patricio was grateful already to find, to find it down on that header, uh, on that shot even. The header was from Sousa there, a really easy one for Stockdale. He could have chested that down and done something with it, but he decided not to. Sordell nicks the ball here really well, nicks it twice and actually goes for that shot. That should have gone in. And unfortunately, he can't get the rebound. But as you can see, we were just having everything, everything, everything to do with uh, Fulham. A really good block here. And as you can see in the top left corner there, they were actually talking about me leaving for international offers. And uh, because I've been getting a lot of them. And that's good. It means that my career is improving as a Southampton manager. And that we can get something from the Southampton career mode. But look at this, guys. We actually score a goal. Make it 1-0 to us. Would you believe it? I wouldn't. But uh, the man of the season last season, El Sharari, really, 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 really important figure in the, in this team this season. And uh, he pretty much seals the deal there. Uh, and in that respect, puts the match to bed. But, uh, I mean, what do you expect from him? I really can't believe that we got him for, for so little money. 11 million, and he's become this. And uh, you can see that with the new right back, Parsh. Uh, Mr. Parsh actually gets a 9.0 match rating and man of the match. But uh, there was that second game of the season, another good result, and on to some more transfers, accepting the offer for this guy, flogging off all the players that we don't need, and then look at this, Nicola Lambrugi. I realise that I don't have a second striker apart from um, Sordell, so I go into the free uh, agents, and this guy's a free agent, and just browsing the offers, and I find him 71 overall, rate uh, 71 overall rated. And he's only 17 years old. I pick him up straight away. Give him, a, well, pretty much what he wants. And uh, I, I cannot. He says that he can't agree with the conditions because he wants to have a better role. So you know what? Fine, I'm just going to go in and uh, give him a better offer, as you see here in a minute. But his name is Lambrugi. Like I've already said, he's a free transfer. And you pick these up all the time, guys. The players with no faces. The no-face players. They're obviously scouted players in the game. And they are normally going to be good. So look for them all the time. And use them as much as you can. Because this guy is going to pay off for me. Already valued at 3.3 million. And he's a free agent. That's basically 5 million if I play him. To uh, to have the next transfer market. But Shawcross is moving from Stoke City. Stoke City has our next opponent. Which is why I kind of showed you this. And uh, Inter win the Copa Europe. Europe. Copa Europe. I don't know. They defeat Man City. And uh, Stoke... Versus Southampton is the next match of the season. And I just show you the league table here before we go, guys, as always. Although we're only two matches two, two matches in at the minute, we have a goal difference of two and six points out of two games, which is 100%. So if we can keep that up next episode, it will be nice keeping the fourth position. We're going to be challenging for Champions League if we can this year with the 12 that we got. I don't think, we, I don't think that uh, Europa League is good enough for us. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And apart from that, guys, I will see you later. This is just some stats in the background here. As you can see, Stinclair is top scorer. And uh, top assists is, would you believe it? <coughs> By the way, Elshar's with two goals there. Top assists, would you believe it? It's Sordell. So anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like I said, and I'll see you next time. Bye.